we get going with that, we better put the, the uh, bustle on the back of the dress. Because that has to sit for a good, well, at least 24 hours. Let's just go with the Velcro. All right. The Velcro here, and we're just going to stick one dot on there in the glue. Don't want to press too terribly hard. Don't want it oozing all over her legs. And then we'll just take this part here. Whoops. Okay. And we'll attach that. Because the Velcro does have some adhesive on it, but it's no way strong enough for that. So that's why I wanted to use the fabric glue. Okay. All right. So we're done with her for a while. We'll let her dry. And we'll move on to the glue gun. Now I'm going to take my trusty mat out. We don't want any mishaps here. Okay, now we want to try first. Not sure if this is going to work because see how this lace it only for some reason it's folded there and it's good, but the rest of it isn't folded. And you try to fold it, it won't stay there. So I'm going to try and run a bit of a bead of the hot glue down so I can fold it and let that dry before we try and attach it to the bouquet. Okay, we're going to try a little bit at a time here. Not sure how this is going to work. We'll see. And I'm just using my trusty new tools here, so I haven't even used these tools before, but just gonna see if we can get this to stick so we'll just do a little bit at a time okay and just kind of press it down boy this is finicky here okay. Yeah, this is a little finicky, but if you just do a little bit at a time, I think it'll be okay. Or not. There's a bit that's not working here. Hmm. Okay, let's try a little bit here. a lot of firsts here. This I got this mat because I do use my glue gun a lot and I'm forever burning myself so I thought I'd give these tools a try. So let's see how this goes. Oh, it's starting to come along. Okay, now let's see. want to try and attach it to the flowers. That's why you want to kind of get the bouquet shape you want. Whoops, sorry. Whoops, kind of back this out a bit. You want to get the bouquet shape you want because you want to be gluing this on the back of the flowers. So, let's see here. I think we will start running a little bit. Now we can do this a little bit at a time again. You don't want to do too much at once or it'll fall apart on you. Have more control this way. So, okay. So we kind of. That's why I love hot glue so much is because it's so easy to use just just don't burn yourself that's all I gotta say it hurts um, okay so see 
It's kind of adding that little lacy look to it. Okay, and then we want to do a little more. So we're only doing a little at a time so we can control what it looks like. Not end up with a big hot mess and then not be able to get it off of there. So, just a little bit at a time. Just kind of go underneath the flowers there. And, yeah, make sure you've got your little glue fingers on. Okay. Now, now look at how that's looking. Isn't that gorgeous? So we just kind of stick that there. Maybe go around once more. This is looking just beautiful. Whoops. Oh, if I can hold on to it. Okay, so there you go. That's the lace around it. Now, we are not quite done. I think I kind of want to add something else to it. So, I'm not really sure if maybe add few strings of beads on it or hmm, another trusty box of stuff okay I'm kinda liking like I wonder this is just a little bit different. It's a double one on one layer. Uh, like that. Um, hmm. Oh, maybe not. I don't really like how that I think we will just put some ribbon. I think I will tie a bow underneath this just to flow down and then put a couple of strands of the pearls in between. So I think that's what we'll do. So, yeah, this is my creative process, folks. I just kind of trial and error just to see what things look like. Okay, I found, found some white ribbon here. That's a good width. And we're just going to kind of make a bow. Continue on with the beads. Uh, I think I want some little pearls in here like this. 